Sandokan and his men have rescued Mariana and are on their way home. So your answer is yes, Surama? Of course it is. I just hope Sandokan likes our idea, Yanis. Oh, don't worry about that. Sandokan thinks highly of you. He'll be thrilled. Men, Surama and I have an announcement to make. We're in love and we've decided to get married. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks a lot, Patan. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarana. A pirate's life isn't always an easy one. I'm well aware of that, San Biglione, and I'm not expecting any special treatment. Personally, I think you'll like living on Mount Crescent. It isn't fancy, but it's our home, and we love it there. We sure do. Sarama and I thought we might have a double wedding with Mariana and Sandakan. That is, if they like the idea. I know they will. Trouble is, we have to make our island secure from attack. So you see, Mariana, digging a moat around our fort would make it easier to defend. I agree, Sandokan, and I have no doubt that we'll soon be forced to defend it. The moment Baron William finds my uncle, they'll join forces to recapture me. But they won't succeed. As soon as we reach Mom Frasum, I'm going to put my men to work digging that moat and repairing the fort. That way, neither Lord James, Baron William, nor the evil Raja of Sarawick shall ever dare attempt to attack our home island of Mom Frasum again. And if they do try, I'll be fighting beside you. Thank you, Marianne. I know that I can count on you, just as I can count on my loyal crew. Hey, Malco, have you seen Crackers lately? I've looked all over, but I don't know where he is. He's helping me fish, Jiro. We decided to try a little experiment. He's on the fishing line doing his best to get a nibble. Fishies, look what Uncle Crackers has for you. A nice, juicy worm. I hate to say this, Mal, you'll never get your thing like that. Of course we won't. But as long as Cracker stays down there, he isn't squawking at us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep it down up there. How am I supposed to concentrate with all that noise? Gee, sorry, Crackers. We'll be quiet. You keep talking to those fish. You can go on all day if you want. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, wow. How'd you like a worm, fellas? Oh, all you gotta do is bite. <laughs> nice and juicy. <laughs> Sure is good to see you. Yeah, we were worried about you. We had a few close calls, but we accomplished our mission of rescuing Mariana. <laughs> now tell me, did anything interesting happen while we were away? There was one strange occurrence, sir. Our friends, the fishermen of Nash, found a man drifting in a lifeboat. He was wearing a soldier's uniform, sir. He was in pretty bad shape when we brought him in here, so we put him to bed, gave him medicine, and fed him lots of hot, nourishing broth. But now he's regained his strength and he refuses to eat the food we give him. It's obvious that he's one of Lord James's men, but he won't say what his name is or why he was in the boat. Well, there's something strange about all this. I'll talk to him myself. I told you, I don't want your food. I know your pirate tricks. That stuff's probably laced with belladonna. No, just a little something. Oh, Sandokan! Okay, yes, it's me. Good to see you, sailor. Is this our uninvited guest? That's him. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. No, oh, it's you. How'd you escape from the Baron? Let's just say I had a little help from my friends. Now then, would you kindly tell me who you are? Captain Thomas Collins, I'm an officer in the forces of His Excellency Lord James, the Governor of Labuan, and I'm not frightened of you, even if you are nicknamed the Tiger of Malaysia. Mm. Oh, don't hurt me. Hot bruise easily. Last time I saw you, you were in command of Lord James's ship, so why did the fishermen find you drifting alone in a lifeboat? I won't tell you. That is, not unless you torture no me. No one's going to torture you, Captain, but you have to tell us what happened. Did some misfortune befall my uncle and his ship? Why should I tell you, my lady? After all, you're in cahoots with his criminal. Sandakan is no criminal. He's not evil. Besides, Lord James is my uncle. He's cared for me since childhood, and I love him. If he's in trouble, I must know so I can try to help him. All right, I believe you. The truth is your uncle's been captured by the Diakos. What? Are you sure about this? Yeah, I was there when they raided the ship. They overwhelmed our troops and took Lord James prisoner. It was only blind luck that enabled me to escape. I drifted in a lifeboat for days. I even put a message in a bottle and threw it in the ocean, hoping someone would rescue me. But no one came. If those fishermen hadn't happened to sail by, I'd have been a goner for sure. You say they took Lord James prisoner. In which direction did they sail after that? Toward the island of Ramades. I've heard that's where the Diakos now have their home base. Mariana, I'm afraid your uncle is in trouble. The Diakos are known for being cruel to their prisoners. Yes, and I can tell you just how cruel. I overheard them plotting. When they get home to Ramades, they're going to sacrifice Lord James to their spirits. <gasps> oh, no! Even as Captain Collins speaks, the Diaco canoes are reaching their destination. We've reached Ramades, Lord James. As you can see, there's a welcoming committee on the beach. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
Get up, you nincompoops! You're falling down on the job! That will teach you savages to show me some manners! We don't need no stinking manners! Guards, take them to the village on the double! Put him in the prison hut. I want him guarded day and night. Even with his hands tied, he might still try to get away and give the old codger something to eat. How dare you call me an old codger? I'm a gentleman, and as for eating, I wouldn't touch that slop that you call food. If Lord James wants to starve, then I say let him starve. Besides, what's the point of feeding him? After all, we're sacrificing him tomorrow. You're right, Tycho. Guards, throw him in the hut. Oh, no! You won't get away with this, you bounders. At least I hope they won't get away with it. They said they're sacrificing me tomorrow, and something tells me that won't be very pleasant. If Baron William were here, he would help me. He must have reached Lavuan by now. If Lord James were here, he would help us. He must have reached Labuan by now. He's probably wondering what's become of us. And he wouldn't be very pleased if he knew, would he? No, sir. He'd be furious if we told him that the pirates had managed to recapture their ship, carry off Lady Mariana, and put us in these lifeboats, all thanks to Sandokan. Sergeant, please, don't mention that awful name. Sorry, sir, but you must admit he did spare our lives. Of course he did, so he could have the pleasure of watching us slink off in defeat. I've never been so humiliated in my life. <laughs> But after we've stopped it from Maddie's Island to get fresh water and supplies, I'll hunt down that outlaw in his lair on Mount Prism, and I'll make him regret the day he was born! Yeah, but, sir, huh? shouldn't we avoid Romanes? The Diacos live there. <laughs> I'm not scared of those diaper-wearing bullies. Steady as she goes, Sergeant McSwain. Next up, Romanes. <laughs> mm. If those Diacos so much as look at us the wrong way... <sighs> I'll give him a taste of cold steel! Meanwhile, Terwilliger from the records office is having problems. It's all so confusing. First I went to Lord James's office, but he'd already left for his mansion. So I rented an old water buffalo and rode to the mansion, but when I got there, Lord James had left to catch Sandokan. Hmm? Take that! And that! Hmm. So instead of giving him the important information he asked for, I had to go looking for him again. And then all of a sudden, I was captured by the natives of Labawan, who almost fed me to their crocodiles before putting me in this dinghy. Oh, what a week! Take this! And this! Now, I find this message in a bottle and it says, Help! Lord James has been captured by the evil Diacos who are holding him prisoner in his own ship and heading for Ramades. Well, it's off to Ramades I go in my never-ending search for his lordship. When are you going to learn? You must give us every ounce of speed this vessel's got, Shiro. We have to reach the island of Ramades as quickly as we can. Aye, aye, sir. Full speed ahead! I only hope that we're not too late, Sandokan. Wait a second. I'm a little confused here. Why are you pirates rushing to the aid of Lord James? I thought he was your sworn enemy. Ah, but he's not, Captain. Our true enemy is the Raja of Sarawak, who stole Sandokan's rightful throne. If it weren't for the false stories told by the Raja, we'd have no quarrel with honest men like his lordship. Yanez is right. Hmm? Lord James believes that I'm an evil man because the Rajas told him lies about me. I, too, once thought Sandokan was a criminal, but now I know better. Didn't catch a thing. Huh? How am I supposed to fish when the ship's moving so fast? What's the rush anyway? Ah! Sorry, but we have to reach Ramadez in a hurry, Crackers. Maybe you ought to stop fishing. Uh -huh. I think I'll have better luck with a nice fresh worm. Oh, here's a good one. Take me down, Malco. Right. I don't know what to say, Sandokan. It's obvious that I was wrong about you. I hope you'll accept my apologies. Of course, I'd be happy to, Captain. In the future, you should judge people by what you see, not what you're told. I certainly will. I've always been told that Roger's noble. Now I wonder what he's really like. I really am an evil genius. <laughs> Who else but I, the sneakiest yet cutest tyrant in the South Seas, could have captured Lord James so easily? Actually, you didn't capture him. I did, and I want my payment. Now, yes. Sure, Chief, here, for you. <laughs> I suppose it's worth a few coins to be finally rid of Lord James. Yes, and indeed, as soon as he's out of the way, you'll be free to hunt down Sandokan and destroy him, after which there'll be no one left to prevent your total domination. <laughs> right. It's time for the ceremony to begin! 
サラゴールサラデイサラゴールサラデイ !We start with a dance that portrays the history of the Diacos!I can't wait!The first part of the dance shows how we Diacos were always cruel and warlike, attacking the natives of other islands, wrecking their villages and stealing their wealth! But this golden age of rotten behavior came to an end with the arrival of Lord James, who banished us all here to Ramadis. So, as you know, we captured him. Yes. But even in captivity, Lord James has continued to trip us up. The time has come to punish him. Major, this whole situation is working out exactly as I had intended. As soon as the Diacos have disposed of Lord James, I'll dispose of the Diacos. Then I'll hunt down those bothersome pirates. A brilliant plan. You've outdone yourself, your royal hugeness. Yes, I have. And all this plotting has given me a royal appetite. We Diacos will return to our old habits of stealing and pillaging, and Lord James won't be there to stop us. He shall be sacrificed to the fire spirit. The sacrifice begins tomorrow morning. This isn't funny anymore! I demand that you release me right now! I'm afraid that's out of the question. No, who's that? It is I, the Diaco Chieftain! Order your guards to take off this blindfold. I want to see what's happening! As you wish, Sunare Kimba! <laughs> ah! What's the matter, Lord James? Is the sun a little too bright for you? <laughs> he's acting like he's blind as a bat! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Raja, thank heavens you're here. These insolent savages were planning to do me in, but when you order them to release me, they'll obey. Trouble is, though, he won't order us to release you. No, I certainly won't. But just to show you my heart's in the right place, I'll have them untie you after they've done you in. <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Raja, you and I have had our differences in the past, but in the name of friendship, I'm asking you to put a stop to all this. Put a stop to it? You simply don't understand, do you? You still think I'm your friend, but who do you suppose came up with the idea to get rid of you? Not these Diacos. They're too stupid. No offense, Chief Mingo. Enough talk, Raja. It's time for the sacrifice. Raja, please. Tell them to let me go. I'll give you all I have. He's already taken it. No. Oh, in a few minutes, you'll be history. <laughs> Oh, someone help! Too late! No one can save you! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong, Chief Mingo! Now then, attack! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, men! We have them outnumbered! We'll destroy them! The Raj is right! Forward, men, to victory! Major, why don't you and I slip away from the battlefield? I have no doubt our side's going to win, but I'd rather stay someplace safe until the combat's over. Good idea, sir. Don't just stand there, Mingo. Start fighting. Right. This way, Raja. Wait, wait for me. Go! Come on. Sandokan, thanks. I owe you my life, but... Why did you help me? I'm your enemy! No, our true enemy is the Raja. We must defeat him. Now, come on! How's the battle going? Not well, Mariana. Our men are doing their best, but they're heavily outnumbered. Then it's time we joined the fight, Surama. Right! It looks like they may defeat us, Yanis. Uh, not without a fight. Uncle! This battle's not over yet! Reinforcements just arrived! Look! Baron, help us! Huh? Man! Forward! Attack! Ah, ah, ah. Huh? No! The enemy's huh? over there, you fool! But, but those are the Raja's soldiers, my lord. They're on our side. Stop being an idiot and follow me! Attack! Ah! Nice to have you fighting on the right side for a change, Sergeant. It's nice to be here, Malcolm. You know what 
order to give it a situation like this, Major? Yes, sir. Retreat! Stop! Where's everybody going? Raja, why are you retreating? Are you a man or a mouse? Uh, can I get back to you on that one? Let's go, Major. Ah! Oh. Oh. Drop your weapons! <laughs> Next! On your way! Nicely done. We showed them what real soldiers are made of, eh, what? Sure did, matey. Mm. Oh. I mean, yes, Lord James, sir. In all, yes. the enemy forces have all been captured. That is, all but a handful of troops who escaped with the Raja. They won't get far. I'll lead a campaign to capture that sneaky Raja. My men and I will help you, Lord James. We'll free the South Seas of his evil tyranny. They had them! Lord James and Sandukan were in my grasp! But then that bothersome Baron showed up and turned my victory into defeat! We have to escape here, Medbritton. Your plan to rule the South Seas is washed up. What are you saying? Explain yourself! Now that Lord James has seen your true colors, he'll join forces with Sandokan to hunt you down and capture you. You have no choice but to abandon your plans for conquering the South Seas. It's time to escape! Escape? And give up the royal throne of Sarawak? Never, Major! I've come too far to turn back now, do you hear me? I shall never give up! Sandokan thinks I'm running scared, but I'll fight on down to my last man! <laughs> Captain Collins, I want you to have our prisoners locked in the brig. When we reach level one, they shall all be charged with high treason! Oi, oi, sir! I have no doubt that the South Seas will be far more peaceful once these traitors are all in prison where they belong. I couldn't agree more, my lord. Uncle, I just want to say I'm sorry. I know how much I've upset you lately. I hope you can forgive me. Of course. But only if you promise me one thing, my dear. What's that? That you will forgive me for having been so pig-headed and unreasonable. I should have listened to you instead of trying to force you to obey me. I was wrong to do that, and I'm very sorry. Oh, Uncle dear. <laughs> And as for you, Sandokan, I owe you an apology, and thanks for having saved my life. It was a pleasure, Lord James. <laughs> Baron William, step forward. I want you to shake Sandokan's hand. <gasps> but I really... That's an order, Baron. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, does this mean I have your blessing to marry Sandokan? It would be a great honor if you joined us for the wedding ceremony, Lord James. It'll be on Mom Prasel. Would you give away the bride? You're obviously in love, and someone has to give away the bride. I'd be glad to. Baron William and I will sail to Mount Prism aboard your ship oh. with you. I'd rather escort the prisoners to Lab One, if you don't mind, sir. Come, come, Baron. Be a good sport. I order you to come with us. It's good to know that our troubles are behind us. Not quite. The Raja is still on the loose. Hmm? Look, it's a dinghy. Hmm, how strange. That fellow bears a striking resemblance to the clerk in the records office on level one. But it can't be him. Why would he be out here? Ahoy! You men are Lord James's soldiers, aren't you? Yes, we are. Who are you? What do you want? I'm the clerk from the records office, and I have to see Lord James right away. I'm afraid you're too late. His lordship just left. He's on his way to the island of Montbrason. Huh? I thought he was being held here on Ramades. He was, but Sander Cannon and his men came to the rescue. I have to give him some information. Guess I'll have to follow him. Well, goodbye. I'm off to Montbrason. Do you think the Raja might have fled from the South Seas? I doubt it, Lord James. The Raja's lust for power is so great that he'll never give up the battle. Not until we capture him. We're being fired on! It's the Raja's flagship. We're in for a fight. Battle stations, men! Keep up your fire! We'll send him to the bottom! But Raja, Sandokan's ship has twice our firepower. They'll blow us out of the water. I gave the order to keep firing, and any man who dares disobey that order will answer personally to me! Uh, Understood? But, Your Majesty, they'll destroy us. Stop your blithering and get back to your guns! Ready? Fire! Good shooting, man. What are they doing now, Patad? Looks like they're reloading their starboard guns. Wait! They've left the guns and now they're crowding around the Raja. They're arguing about something. They're arguing? During a battle? I don't get it. Sandokan, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> the Raja's men have thrown him overboard and sailed away. 
It's true. Hard up porch, you know, but all. Hey, where are you going? Come back, you traitors! After all I've done for you, how can you leave me? I am your ruler! Not anymore, you are. We're free men now, and we're leaving the Southeast forever. Goodbye, you dog. Wait, please don't go. What's going to become of me? No, 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 me, please. No. Done, Roger. You're gonna spend some time behind bars. Why, of all the nerd, <laughs> Lord James, are you going to let these outlaws get away with this? Throwing me in prison like a common crook will help me get away. I'll pay you anything, my friend. Friend? Ha! I saw what kind of friend you were when the Diacos held me captive. Now, now, let's forget that unfortunate episode and let bygones be bygones. As a gentleman, you must save me from Sandokan and his gang of disgusting lowlifes. Huh? Who are you calling lowlifes, you oversized windbag? <laughs> Take our prisoner to the bridge, San Big Leon. I've seen enough of him. Can I at least have some lunch? I'm famished. How about a nice pie? Pie. And I don't want no bacon that pie. Some fresh worms. Yummy, huh? Take us home, Shiro, before Crackers gets any other ideas. Aye, aye, San <laughs> In our next episode, Sandokan and his men are at last drawing near to the end of their adventure. And as they do, they will have a great deal to celebrate. Don't miss the fun. Tune in to our next episode and join our courageous pirates as they give three cheers for their brave leader, Sandokan.